Hello besties, welcome back to Down for Glam. My name is Gigi. And what we have before you now is the nail that I worked on last night. That is the newest trend going around the internet. On the interwebs, if you will, it is called the 3D French. And you know, you girl had to try to figure out how to do this. Let me turn this light down. Maybe that will help you see it a little better. There we go. And I did figure it out. I do want to share with you, though, first. <coughs> Oops. Before we... Sorry for the shaky cam. I hit the, the vanity with my knee. As per usual, um, I want to show you my first two attempts. They are embarrassingly horrible. And I'm only going to show them to you to illustrate how important it is to not give up if you don't understand something on the first try, okay? Now, as you can see, I did a pretty decent job on this one. It came out pretty good and I'm actually super pleased. This is the first one. <laughs> Guys, there is no shadow. There's no dimension. It just looks like three colors slapped together. And even though I thought I understood what they were doing, I didn't. Okay? And I didn't do much better with this one, which I used different colors. But again, I was not getting what they were doing. Uh, then I saw Kirsty Meekin's picture. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to see the, the video where she teaches us how to do this. And I realized pretty quickly that I don't think she's actually going to do that because she's going to teach a workshop on that. And why would you hold a workshop if you're going to give the information away online for free? <clears throat> so I don't think she is going to do a video on how to do this. I did see two videos of girls actually doing this. I'm going to try to find the videos and link them. I, one of the girls I want to say is Kylie. Uh, last name starts with a W, I think. Um, by the time this airs, I will have figured out the videos and gotten them to you. <clears throat> That's not going to be quite enough. So really, what you're going to want to do, this is how I did it. Guys, this is how I did it. You can take this as a tutorial, um, but this is just me showing you the process I used to make the nail, okay? Um, I feel just so uncomfortable saying I'm doing a tutorial because I'm not professional. So this was my process, though. I'm going to share with you the process I used to make this gorgeousness happen. And what you just want to do is an extended nail bed, pretty basically, with a little twist at the end. And we, that's the part we'll get to in just a minute. Sorry, I did a very sloppy job placing that down. And so it takes a second to work it where I want it to go. Um, the the two ladies that I saw do this did it with acrylic. One did it all acrylic and one did it acrylic and how I'm going to do it with and did it last night with gel polish. Um, and of course, I don't have acrylic, so we are going to do gel polish and poly gel. The poly gel we are using today is Joya Mia. This color is the soft pink. Soft pink. It's very opaque, very delicious. It's a nice pinky pink color if you like pink nail beds. It's not too dark. It could work as a soft nude for certain skin tones. Um, 
it's just pretty. It's just pretty. Now here's one thing that you have to do. If you don't do this, you're not going to get, do you see how, oh guys, I shook you. I'm so, so sorry. Do you see how all the colors sort of line up with each other here? If you don't come in on the side, you're not going to have room for that. You will file it all away. You cannot just make the nail bed extended. You kind of have to make it exaggerated, okay? I just want to pull some of that away from the side, from the side. Now here's the other thing, okay? You cannot leave this just straight. And a lot of it's going to be filing, but I found that it's easier to file it if it's already in the shape. Part of what you're seeing here is a shadow. And so what we're doing is creating a ledge that overhangs a little bit so that it creates that shadow when the light hits it. So you need to come in. If you're working with acrylic, you're going to want to do this quickly. Get these sides done. And get them pushed in a little. Went a little crazy right there. What? What just happened? What's happening? If you know what movie that's from. Tell me below. But you want to push that in and make, you want it to come like slanting. You're making a ledge. That is the most important part. And then you want to make sure that it's, I'm doing my this one a little more hard, okay, than I did this side. I'm just experimenting, okay? That's That makes it fun for me to try to mix it up. I actually saw um, a girl in one of the groups I'm in do some like, uh, not just Frenches, like actual cutout designs like this. So it's definitely um, a trend that you can utilize in a lot of different ways. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in the lamp. Okay, guys. Now, before we move on to the next step, this is, this step is crucial. You have got to come in. You cannot go straight up and down like you would normally file. No. Go to an angle and get up in your ledge and sharpen that up. But you have to stay at the angle. If you do not do that, you are not going to get the shadow. And that is what makes this 3D French look 3D is that you are casting a shadow with the light. This little bit right here I want to get off. Um, if you don't want to do, the next step that we're going to do is build a little shelf all the way down and if you want to skip that, um, you can just build this with a tip instead of using forms. I don't have any tips. So um, and honestly, I'm not even sure if, well, I suppose I could, I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry, guys. Sorry, my bad. So sharpen that up really strong, like so strong, guys. It really matters. And check your shaping. Make sure that you're the same as much as you can make it, because otherwise it will not match. It won't match. And that, that just is a sloppier look, right? Whew, there we go. This is going to be a deep V. I actually have another idea. So the next time we build a set, um, we'll do an accent nail. I have an idea. So I'm excited to try it. But today we're just working it out together, okay? We're just working it out together. Um, and one thing I did do when I was doing this is I accidentally got a bunch of polish down here. 
watch out for your cleanup. <laughs> you know how you can get focused when you're doing something new. So, okay, now what I'm going to do is take, oops, wrong one. I'm going to take some more of the Joya Mia, but in a different color this time. Sorry, let me clean off my thing real quick. I am so almost out of the Joya Mia. I'm so devastated. I'm going to have to order some more. But honestly, guys, I want to try some more brands before I order the same one I've been using. So we can do some investigating together on what are my favorite poly gels. So far, it is the Joya Mia. I have to say, it's a dream to work with. And it's, you know, it's not $4 like Ye Yogi. Oh, wait, you know what? I don't think I cleaned that off enough. It's not $4, but my biggest, my biggest, um, oh, what's the word I want to use? Consideration isn't always price. I really, really, really love to work with quality things and have quality products. So I'm not saying Yay Yogi isn't quality. I love working with Yay Yogi. This is Yay Yogi on the nail bed over here. You know, I, I love all the products. Love them all. I'm not talking shit about anyone. Well, I am saying don't buy Honey Girl. I'm going to say that straight up, but that's not talking shit. That's an opinion. Okay, you don't want to get this up on your ledge. I'm just going to put this down. Try to work it around. Work it around. Guys, I'm sorry. This is going to be kind of a long video. But if you want to learn how to do it, at least the way I figured out how to do it, which I'm pretty sure is the right way, then hang out. Hang out with me, okay? By the way, also, if you like this video and you learned something from it, please consider sharing it. Maybe you're in a nail group that you think would benefit, or maybe you have a friend who is trying to do nails and would like this trend in her life. I'm pretty sure I have too much alcohol on my brush right now. Is somebody, is somebody screaming at me right now going, um, Gigi, is that a lot of alcohol in your brush right now? And you know what, sir and or madam, you are right. Ah, okay, I totally just hit the camera with my head. I'm really, really hoping that didn't make it too, too shaky. I do think I was off camera. I'm sorry. I know I was not in good framing. Just make yourself a little nail tip. You don't, let me just feel like I'm up in there too much. I'm up in there too much. This will ruin my shadow. That is important. Listen, you could 100% do this first, but, um, that's not sticking down to the form. Um, it was inhibiting my first um, file. And I just felt like maybe I would just connect it together at, at the after. After is the word I want to use. After. After. This side. I knew I didn't have that right. Pinch needs a little strength on that. Guys, I'm sorry. This is just really taking me a second to get this right. All right, I'm going to pop her in the lamp. We will be right back. 
Okay, guys, what I'm just going to do is just the tiny, tiny, tiniest bit of filing on the sides just to even things out and make sure that when we put our color down, it looks nice, which is a step I wish I had taken on this nail. And we're going to remedy that with this one. But you want to be gentle, and that's why I'm not removing the form either, because I'm a little on the heavy-handed side, and I have a tendency to break my shelves, or nail tips, whatever you want to call them. I think of them as little shelves. I'm also just going to sharpen this up one more time, just to make sure we didn't get a bunch of clear up in there. And again, stay at the angle. You need to get in there in an angle. Whew, I hope I didn't ruin my angle. What is it, Papa? You crying? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, I'm just going to wipe this. And here, here we go with the fun parts. I've decided to not do this one exactly the same color. We're going to work in blues this time. And, but first we're going to put down white. First we're going to use white. And I do actually just want to give this one more little brush down to make sure we are good. All right, guys. Oh, I feel like I still have some green in there. All right, we're just going to pick up a little white. And this is the white we're using. It's the Yay Yogi. You want to make sure you go up into that ledge that you created. And you want to come down as well. If you do have any little spots, make sure you really work that color in there. That was a motorcycle on the freeway. I live not too far from the freeway. And sometimes you can hear that sort of thing. want to straighten up your sides a little bit it doesn't it's going to end up being covered by the next color you kind of do want to let it like overlap a little so you don't get a gap there's actually a tiny gap right there on this one And of course, if you have colored poly gels, you can use those in this little area to paint the um, the French. And if you have colored acrylics, you would use that here as well. So this is definitely a look you could create with different things. You could use like um, <clears throat> I would think like other potted gel colors as well like the buttercreams and stuff like that from LE which I honestly cannot wait to try those um, and I did try the very first nail I tried to do uh, where I didn't really understand what I was trying to accomplish I saw what I was trying to accomplish, but you know how I was going to accomplish it. Um, I did actually use builder gel 
for the next step that we're going to do together. And honestly, it I couldn't make it do what I wanted it to. And so I'm, I'm not saying I'm giving up on that as an option. I'm just saying it was more difficult to accomplish because of how runny gel is. So I'm not sure if doing this in gel is actually so viable, but you know, if there's a way, I'm going to try to figure it out because that's what Gigi do. That's what Gigi does, people. Wait, I'm referring to myself in the third person and that's weird. Let's just not do that, okay? Let's just not do that. Okay, I just want to get this straight here. This is, to me, painting this straight is the hardest part, honestly. It really is. And I am going to try to clean this up a little. All right, I'm going to pop her in the lamp and we will be right back. Now what I did go ahead, by the way, and do a second coat of the white. And what we're gonna do now is take some clear, and this is Joya Mia Diamond Clear, and put it inside that channel that we have there where we put the white. and all the way down the white. That might not be enough. Let's grab a little more. Okay, and then we're just gonna smooth it out, but also while we're doing that, creating that same ledge situation, okay? Yeah, we don't have enough over there. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. That was super attractive. Okay. Make sure you get all the way up here to make the shape you want at this top part. Not worrying so much about that here, but up here you want to make sure you have enough to create the shape you want and give you some room for filing, okay? And try to keep this even up here. And that helps you when you're pushing down like that to also create that ledge. Because you need to have it slanting in there. It's okay if a little of the white shows. We a little bit overpainted it in the first place. <coughs> I'm not going to lie to you and tell you this is the easiest nail I ever created. It really is not. It um, is taking a little patience and determination to get this right. We need a little more up here.
Sorry for no chatting, guys. This is just really taking all my concentration. And what I've been doing is sort of pushing up a little to create a little space and then pushing it back down to create that ledge. And of course we are gonna come in again and file to sharpen the shape of it up and give us even more of a ledge. Definitely look at it from different angles because otherwise you have a crooked nail like the one I just made. And it's okay if you feel like you have a little extra on the top because you are going to be coming down and filing that. <clears throat> the most important thing is creating that ledge. Got to get the ledge. This look is all about the ledges. Okay. I feel like that's not perfect but maybe as close as we're gonna get to perfect oh look at that that's better that made it all the better sorry that was off camera guys I'm so sorry I just needed to see with my eye how I was gonna shape that correctly you know you know what I mean okay I'm gonna pop her in the lamp we'll be all right back Okay, guys, and from here, really, we're repeating exactly what we already did. You're going to come in at an angle, not like this, at an angle. That's just so important, I want to stress it, because that's what I did wrong on my first ones, is no angle. And so you can't, the angle is creating the thing that's giving you the shadow, that makes it almost look like you're ombre in there, but you're not. So, ah, I'm going to come the other direction with that so I can see what I'm doing. Support your nail. Go slow if you need to. Just get it nice and smooth and as diagonal as you can. Dig in and make it, make a little channel in there. And all of this up here will get filed and shaped as we go. And honestly, this is my fourth one, so it might not be perfect when we get done, but hopefully it comes out good. <laughs> Okay guys, the rest of it is just repeating that step over and over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed the next bits up. So enjoy the music and we'll see you on the other side.
what I'm going to do now is take this form off. Ooh, look how pretty it is underneath, guys. That's so cool. Ooh, we got a big mess here. But the C curve on this is crazy. It's crazy, y'all. I'm just gonna kind of take up the sides a little bit. Because we're a little crazy under here, I'm telling you. Things got a little crazy. But that's how it happens sometimes. Gotta get crazy to make pretty. Ah! It's hard to file on Dolly, guys. We're going to use the file right now and debolt these nails. Okay, guys, I just did a last little bit of finish filing off camera, and here we are. I think that I did the medium blue, or the light blue, too small on this particular one. But we're going to top coat her and see how we came out. And trust me, we're not done with this with this trend on the channel. We are gonna try to perfect this by doing it in sets and trying to recreate different ideas that you see or you think of. Whew. I went to Sally's yesterday and I got some um, files, but all they had were coarse and so it, I'm a little bummed out. But it's not the end of the world. It's really not. Okay. I think even though it's a little too skinny, we still created some magic here. I think we did. But like I said, we're definitely going to play with this look more. 
I'm super excited to keep trying the new trends as they pop up. I can definitely see all the mistakes I made. And feel free to point any out that you think maybe I'm not realizing. But like right here, can you see how, let me come in. How you get that cool shadow, right? Because you, you filed it and created it at that angle. So you get that cool shadow effect. And you don't even have to change the colors. You could do all the same colors and just um, let the shadow be the thing that makes it, you know, defined. I feel like maybe the dark blue was too dark. But you know what? Like I said, we're just going to do more of these. It's so, so fun. I absolutely love this creation. But I'm not kidding, guys. This is work. This was not easy. It's very time consuming. You've got to stay dedicated. It's tiring, but it's so worth it because look how pretty it comes out. Okay, guys, we're going to, I'll leave you with a few shots if I can come up with some really good ones. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for coming by and watching me try to learn how to do this.